Okay guys, in a video I made not too long ago, I talked about what I look for in a bushcrafting knife, and a part of looking what I look for in a knife, I mentioned a knife that is capable of doing things such as tri-sticks, or creating tri-sticks, feather sticking, and batoning. So in this, in, in these videos, I'm going to be breaking down each one of these topics to discuss what it means to do each and every one of these parts. Now, as always, guys, please don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe so you can see more awesome Alaskan content just like this. Now, in this video specifically, we're going to be talking about feather sticking. This is one of the most core, fundamental things that I teach people to do and that it is something that's very important that your knife should be able to do if you're going to be spending any time out in the wilderness, you know, if you want to start fires. Now, to start off, uh, when it comes to feather sticking, I don't think that feather sticking is crucial for every fire, but you should keep this skill in your back pocket in case you need to start fires with a feather stick. Now, the primary reason why a feather stick exists is to serve as a type of artificial or created um, kindling. So, in a wooded forest like I'm in right now, I probably would not intentionally, if I was cold or hungry or starving, I would not go out and try to make a feather stick. Mm -hmm. I would probably just strip some of the trees around me of their smaller, or some of the nearby spruce trees around me of their um, smaller twigs and create a kind of bundle and start a fire mm -hmm. that way. However, I have been in environments here in Alaska too where the abundance of small, easy, and readily burnable kindling is not available. And in situations like that, it's important to know how to feather stick because you may not have access to small, dry kindling that you can readily burn. And that is where feather sticking serves its highest function. Now, of course, you can always create feather sticks if you have the wood to create them, and they can serve the purpose of starting a fire just fine. But the primary reason or the primary time when I feather stick in a real situation is if I don't have access to um, mm -hmm. smaller kindling. So basically what the process of feather sticking is, is you take a piece of wood, a smaller piece of wood to begin with, uh, something around thumb thickness and size, and you proceed to curl it with your knife. Now, this is something that is very hard to explain in video. Even when teaching people, it's hard to explain. But essentially, it is a learned skill that you have to practice to get good at. But you want to try to hold your knife, uh, the knife that you are going to use for feather sticking, at a very consistent angle. You want to think of your hand and your knife as a sort of wood plane, if you will. Uh, for those who don't know what a wood plane is, it's a woodworking object where a blade is in a housing and you push that housing along a piece of wood to plane off uh, a surface to cut off a set amount of material. And so you kind of want to conceptualize your hand and your knife as a form of wood plane and as you drag your knife across a reasonably flat surface um, you begin to pick up these curls. And as you begin to pick up the curls, the hardest part, the challenge in it, is holding that friction in that steady depth. And the best way to get good curls is by having a rigid hand held at a steady depth and once again beginning to pick up those curls and curl them on each other. Now, there are some people that like to use a rocking method where on a set axis they will kind of rock the piece of wood back and forth. Now I prefer not to do this, at least not as I continue, so maybe to begin the curls I start with a smaller, you know, maybe rocking motion, you know, going back and forth trying to pick up curls, but what I want to ultimately do is create wide curls, and the reason why this is, is the better uh, luck you'll have with starting a fire using feather sticks is you want to create as much surface area with your uh, wood and that's the ultimate reason why you feather stick it in the first place is to create an added surface area for fire to get into the wood and burn um, 
So the wider your curl is, the more surface area there will be. And this not only helps with catching a flame, keeping a fire going, but it also helps with the longevity. So if you have a whole bunch of really tiny, really small, or really fine curls in your feather stick, they will go very fast. They'll burn up very quickly. So that's why you want nice, wide, and I go for half an inch or more uh, curls at the base of my feather stick. Now, depending on what your needs are, you may break off a feather uh, once it's been created, or you may keep it on the actual stick it was made. Usually, when I'm building a fire up, the kind of teepee style that I work with, those, law, or those pieces of wood that are in the teepee style will all be feathered and stacked together with their feathers all kind of touching and close together, of course, to help the fire start and go. And if I feel I need, I may add more curls to that kind of teepee base to help with the fire process. So that is the essential kind of idea when it comes to feather sticking. Once again, you want to try to focus on having a set angle, setting that angle and keeping that angle fixed as you possibly can. The more that angle changes, the more your hand moves, the more likely you are to either break a curl off or have something, you know, like have the curl stop short or have it, you know, not be uh, good, not have a good curl. Uh, optimally, what you are looking for, you know, the more curls, the better, because of course, the more curls, the more surface area, the better the feather stick will burn. But optimally, you want at least one full complete curl um, in your piece of wood that you are feather sticking. So for each feather, you want at least one full curl if not more, once again, more the better because that's additional surface area, but it is not uh, as critical. So that's the basics to feather sticking. Um, I've been feather sticking for a good while and it is a very effective method once you learn it and once you understand how to make feather sticks. Um, it's a very nice trick to have in your back pocket because while I would say in the majority of situations, you want to try to aim for the easiest least least physically exerting process and uh, that's usually just collecting a lot of you know dried dead spruce boughs from the bottom of standing trees so that they're not wet um, that's usually the best way to go but in environments where you cannot do that or that is not accessible reasonably uh, you want to try to do feather sticking to start a fire so that's what I mean by feather sticking. This is the process in which to create it. This is what you want to look for in feather sticks as a whole. It's a very basic bushcrafting thing, but your knife should be able to do it and so should you.